Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. You know, I was looking back at my old videos and, uh, and one in particular that I really wanted to find was actually the first lithium iron phosphate battery that I ever tested and reviewed. And that was actually uh, July 22nd, 2022. And today is November 2nd, uh, 2025. So we're looking at, uh, what, three, three years, four or five months, whatever, since I did that review. And um, first of all, I watched that review and it's pretty bad. I'll go ahead and put a link to that review right up here just in case you want to watch it. But what I was wondering is in that review, I found that the, um, the total capacity of that battery, which is a 100 amp hour battery, I found it to be 100.5 amp hours. My test wasn't that good, but it made me wonder, I wonder what the complete amp hour capacity of that battery is now because I still have it and right now it is actually mixed in with all of my other 12 volt batteries that are connected in series to create a giant 48 volt battery system. So let me go ahead and show you where it's at. All right, so here is actually my 48 volt uh, off grid system right here. And you can see that it is constructed of all of the batteries that I reviewed in the last few years. It's actually 16 individual 12 volt batteries plus a 48 volt battery from EFG at the top, pretty much making a 500 amp hour 51.2 volt uh, battery bank. Now that red audio battery that I was talking about is actually right here. And I just checked it, it's at like 13.24 volts. And this bank right here is, is getting about 3.2 amps pulled from it. So I don't really use that much amperage on this system, but I like to have a lot of capacity. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this battery and I'm gonna replace it with a different 12 volt battery. And we're gonna go ahead and review this battery again to see if the capacity is anywhere near 100 amp hours. All right, well, this battery has seen it all. Um, I have, it's been connected to my 48 volt system for well over a year. Before that, I let my dad borrow it to put in his RV. Uh, and I wanna say that he did not take very good care of it. It's all scratched up. It's got a lot of like rips and cuts in the, in the labeling. You can see that the, uh, the top of the battery is, is discolored. I mean, it's like a dark, it's like a dark gray rather than what it should be. So I'll be really interested to see what kind of capacity this thing pulls off. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to a 20 amp lithium iron phosphate charger. And then I'll go ahead and put it on my battery tester and we'll go ahead and see that capacity and that discharge curve. So let me get all that done and let's look at the results. All right, everyone. Well, the test results are done for this Red Odeo uh, 100 amp hour 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery uh, that I first reviewed in July of 2022. So that's you know, roughly what 40 months ago. First of all, I want to show you the fact that uh, the voltage curve looks exactly the same as a voltage curve of a battery that I had just reviewed. I mean. It, go, it drops down to uh, you know, 2.9 volts at the very beginning. And then you know, at the 80 percentile, it's only at 12.5 volts. So I mean, the voltage curve, even though it's over three years old, everything looks exactly the same. The only difference is the capacity of the battery. You can see down here that the capacity that I reached was 94.22 amp hours. So in the last, you know, three years, this battery has lost 6% of its capacity. Now, I've been, well, okay, here is the timeline of this battery once I received it. I tested the battery, and then that battery, you know, I did a couple other reviews and tests using that battery, 
And then after that, I gave it to my dad who went to Arizona in an RV. And he stayed out in the desert boondocking for about six months. And he used that battery every day connected to a small off-grid inverter and a 100 watt solar panel. Uh, to pretty much power his computer and uh you know but it, i know it sat out in the sun for a few months it, it he brutalized it and then he brought it back i took it again and i connected it up uh to my 48 volt system where it stayed for you know at least another year and there's probably time in between that who knows but i'm just saying that this battery got constant use some of it being brutal some of it being only like a draw of two to three amps uh, at a time so it got its use so when i see that it's only dropped six percent of its capacity uh i'm pretty happy about that that's that's pretty good so i definitely have no complaints about this red audio battery which i've had for over three years it still does everything that i wanted to do even though i feel like it's been through the ringer having lost six percent of its capacity in the last three years is no big deal to me because it is kind of the standard that you can use these things for about 10 years before you start to see a reduction in capacity down to about 80 percent so the six percent loss that i've uh, seen so far is right on track for what i expected so thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about this Red Audio battery or what I used it for or the test that I did to get its capacity three and a half years ago or today, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll have a link to this item in my description just in case you wanna look further into it. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.